question here is how do we track content responses? Like, for example, I have a spreadsheet for tracking content response. I, I teach that in my content courses. Um, how do we track content when there are different levels of response on the different platforms? So, for example, most of us probably get more responses on Instagram than on LinkedIn, or we might get more responses on a Facebook profile instead of a Facebook business page. So here's what I, my suggestion is for each platform. I mean, technically you, of course you can track, if you want to be more complex, you can track every single platform, the response for a single post, but that's a lot of work more than I prefer. So I basically track for every format of the content. I track only one platform. So let me explain if it's a video, I only track YouTube. Now that's not, that may not be true for some of you. Some of you is like, I get zero views on YouTube for every single video, or I get three views on YouTube and I get never get any likes. And that's maybe that's too discouraging to track. So if you're going to track videos, say, well, where do you get the most engagement when you, where you post your videos, then track that platform only. So let's say Instagram is the one. Okay. So fine. Then only track videos that you upload to Instagram and never track the YouTube metrics and make that decision for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay. I mean, you can always switch, but when you switch, then you're like, well, I have, you know, like I think a couple of years ago I was tracking something else and now I'm tracking YouTube and it's like, well, the other data, I'm just going to say, forget that data. I'm just going to re-upload those old videos at some point to the new platform so I can track it. So make a decision. If you're going to do videos, where are you, where do you get the most engagement? Same thing with text only posts, make a decision. Where do you get the most engagement with your text only posts, your articles, and just track that. So I hope this is helpful and makes you a bit more sane. And by the way, each, each row that you're tracking on a spreadsheet might be a topic. And that one topic you might have made a video about and made a text only article about. I track that in the same row. It's like one row, let's say you're writing about mindfulness or something specific about that. Mindfulness uh, when talking to your boss or whatever. And so that's the topic. And then you, you'll have a column to say, or several columns, maybe uh, how many views did it get on Instagram? And then how many likes did you get you know, for that video? And then you have an article about it and you're tracking the the, the responses on uh, a Facebook text only post. So like how many, how many did you reach and then how many liked it? And so now you have the topic and you have four columns to, to try. So that's a very simple way of, of doing that. Um, for those who are interested in my more complicated template, you can, you can take my content flow uh, course or my, uh, any of my content courses will have a tracking template. So hope that helps. I'll say one more thing actually is um, even if you don't, track it on a spreadsheet the social media platforms track those stats for you if you go to and I'm, again this is not a this is not a class right now i'm teaching but i'm just generally speaking if you go to tools such as uh instagram uh, facebook uh creator studio or meta creator studio um they will give you kind of what looks like a spreadsheet to show you you know, the videos you uploaded and how, how, how they did. So you can quickly see which are the best performing ones and the least best performing ones. Or if you go to YouTube, same thing, you go to YouTube creator studio, you go to the content tab, you'll also see kind of like, like a spreadsheet, which videos did better than others, which ones had uh, the most likes. So um, that's sort of like the, the quick and dirty way of tracking content. But for those of us who want to take it a bit more seriously and be able to have a more, um, uh, customizable way for us to know what what topics do we put out there that get the best performance having a spreadsheet uh, and tracking it I, I spend only you know five to ten minutes five really more like five minutes a week tracking and it by by spending five to ten minutes a week doing this you'll be so grateful after months and years ago well, it's very easy for me to see which topics my audience wants and which topics my audience doesn't resonate with as much